So, um, a brief introduction. Um, our sort of MC for tonight will be Tom Hockenhull, who is the curator of modern currency at the British Museum. And obviously, Ian Hislop really needs no introduction from me. Um, a bastion of, of satire and private eye and a you know, writer of spitting image and things, but you don't that. Um, so without, without more ado, thank you very much for coming to the British Museum and for facilitating this evening tonight. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You may well wonder why the curator of modern currency is here introducing some satirical prints this evening. Well, me too. <laughs> this evening's event um, is about talking to this man here. Um, I'm one of the loans that the British Museum of Greed can now be shipped out <laughs> to places uh, such as Whitehead, so I'm delighted to be here. And the conditions are all perfect for a an ancient exhibit like myself. Particularly well preserved. <laughs> Some of the conditions were very important. <laughs> but anyway, no, it's terrific to be here. And um, I didn't realise that you had such good stuff um, in the satirical area, yourselves anyway. And some of that's um, on display upstairs too, which is brilliant. Throughout all ages and through all periods, people have been expressing dissent. From the very simplest gesture, <laughs> Not that one. Um, <laughs> I'm sure they did that. Um, uh, two very sophisticated satire from the vice president of NBC called us into his office. This was the Reagan years. And he said, are you guys suggesting the president of the United States is an asshole? <laughs> uh, and we said, well, yeah, that was a joke, really. Uh, and we were fired. <laughs> this is called the Wicked Bible. And this is the Ten Commandments. <laughs> and after thou shalt not kill, the next commandment is thou shalt commit a <laughs> um, which uh, caused an enormous amount of trouble at the time. <coughs> this is Banksy, which um, the British Museum weren't that keen on um, because it was a joke at their expense. Banksy had come in. And he made this exhibit, um, which is supposed to be a, a sort of Neolithic carving of a hunter-gatherer, as you can see by the shopping trolley. <laughs> but he'd come into the British Museum without permission, shoved it on the wall, written his own caption for it, and then run away. <laughs> Ian, for those who perhaps don't know, can you just kind of explain what, what is the goal? Why do people call it that? Well, I mean, it, it, was, it was one of those periods in history where um, it was like a perfect storm. You had the most brilliant artists who, at another age, might have been doing something else. But in this age, they were drawing cartoons, they were drawing caricatures. You had a time where the laws were sufficiently unclear for the satirists to be really pushing their luck. And you had some of the most silly figures <laughs> in any country's monarchy history. I think I told a lady earlier, she said, are all these jokes familiar? I said, not only familiar, I steal them most weeks. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, he was sort of badly brought up, had no manners, and was dissolute, um, both morally and in terms of taking away the country's resources. <coughs> so, I think it was a golden age because the skill of the people doing it matched the target. But this is a joke that, I mean, this is the Prince of Wales done as a whale. I mean, it's, I mean, it's the same misprint that Trump put in his text. <laughs> but this is the figure of John Bull. Um, and this is a poster of the king. And Newton is literally um, farting in his face. <laughs> On that note, please put your hands together and give a warm thank you to me, Minister.